What's up everybody? This is Chris from Gaming Overwatch and welcome to Maze again. Uh, we fixed our gear and did a whole ton of other stuff that led to me fixing said gear. Um, and now we can go into the room with the ring thingy and make that ring go up for some reason we want that to happen. And we have no idea what it actually does. We, meaning me and Vladi, who thinks I'm an idiot. Frankly, I don't, pay, I don't blame him. Blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm mean, I'm wearing a chair as a hat and a rescue bow as like a, like a, like a bracelet. Boop. And boop. We did it. Why did we do this? I don't know. Oh no, what now? Hello. Good to see you. You did a very good job. Yes. Very good. What did you do again? Press the button. Wow, we. Yes, that's very nice. We're supposed to send you a message. That's right. Yes, it's very important. What was it again? Do not free our queen. No, that doesn't sound right. Was it do free our queen? Probably. One or the other. Whatever the message was, that button pressing was very impressive. Oh, yes. Very. Oh, well, right, we should probably go. Yes, that would make sense. <laughs> so what do we do now? Something productive. Another nap? Yes. That's the most productive thing I can think of. But... Glad they do not know what worse. Idiot plants, the stupid ugly idiot plant, or you? No, Vladi, no. It is you. Idiot. Thanks. I know you love me deep down. Deep, deep down. <laughs> Bob, how is a one-way pneumatic tube at all useful? What part of order elevators did you not understand? This stupid thing is an expensive, completely useless death trap, twit. Ah. Uh. Mean. Uh. I guess. A one way, right? Yeah, this should have broken my ankles. A blueprint for the room with all of the vats near the facility entrance. It reveals that the vats contain hydrogen and oxygen in massive quantities, and they all feed to a central location. Essentially, it's a massive fuel source. But you're not interested in that as much as the notes on possibly possible points of interest from a tour written by Bob. Magic trick. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Let me guess, stupid. Everything in this place is so stupid. Yeah. Well, you're stuck with me now. Oh. Okay. Bob, you twit. Where is the hallway? I broke my nose running into this stupid painted wall. Sorry, Ted. Should have told you about that. I sold it for scrap to pay for the lobby's... Uh, oops. Wait. You sold a hallway. That's literally space. Bob, get off your bulbous behind and feed your stupid fish. It took me all of last week to fill the dozens of stupid things in this dumb place. Are you Ted? Honestly, stupid, twat, all that shit. You must at least be made by Ted. Yes, why not? Another stupid door for Vladdy to fix. Idiot. Oh, come on. You can do it. Go, Vladdy. Hurry up, Vladdy. So, boy, Vladdy know what to do. Just hit stupid thing until... What a stupid place this is. <laughs> Pause for applause. Okay. Oh, I want to jump on, but space is looking at those, um, uh, 
portfolio items. Let's see. Key card slot. I probably can't slot an English muffin in there. Bob, I'm not going to ask you again. Clean your own fish tanks. I lost all of July because of you, jerk. I don't see any dead fish. Or live fish, but, I mean, the way that Bob was looking after them. Half-Life? Definite Half-Life references. No, I shall press Q whenever you tell me not to, because I'm a stubborn fuck. Um, let's go in here. Level 8 checkpoint. Such a waste. Americans should be working on more important things like surviving winter or being less stupid. Key card. A very important key for a very important room. In fact, it'll probably be the third or fourth most important, important room you'll visit on your journey. Not counting the very nice closet you spotted on the first floor. You think of that closet often in your quieter moments. Yes. Another rock. A rock that is subject to flights of fancy, and able to keep a thought in its head for more than a few moments without moving on to the next one. It is currently thinking of re-enrolling in college just as soon as it, as it determines what a college is. You have named it Jeeves. What are these? Candy corns? Little test tubes? I honestly don't know. Let's just scan this entire area. Effective at making any area you encounter feel more like home, though you'll never be sure if that is in fact its original color scheme or a pattern of stains better left unknowable. The question remains on your mind for several days. Hiya, Tad. I think we're onto something with my new batch of test corn. Pretty sure I saw one move the other day. Exciting. Bob, these are all carrots. You're an idiot, moron. Hey, moving carrots are cute. Or very creepy. A centrifuge. Okay. So if I get a test tube of some shit, I can put it in there most likely. A half full vial. I could probably put that into the centrifuge. Okay, let's do it. Oh, okay. Still need something else for the thing. Alright, I can get into the bio lab now. Which is here. But let me just check out what else there is first. Oh, fob again. Okay. Well, Bob, I hope you're happy with all of the fish are dead. All of the fish are dead. I'm pointing this out in case you're wondering why the facility smells like a bad sushi restaurant. Dolt. So, probably cleaned them up. Hey, Tad, check out the new security measure added. Insult in a, in a, in a few high security places. Sales of the single are going to go through the roof. Bob, you dummy, now everyone hates the song because they have to hear it ten times a day. Okay. Again, facial recognition security checkpoint. Bob, I saw her talking to the isolated subject again. For a change, do something useful and make the security room more secure, dolt. Well done, you idiot. Now we're all locked out and fix the lift, moron. Okay. Okay. So, first get to the bio lab. Because that's one of the places we can actually enter. Okay. Scan this English muffin. <laughs> awesome. It's a studio. Hi, Ted. Got some of the lyrics down during my shift. Thinks it's really going to be a hit. Bob, you wrote one line. You lazy slob. I'm doing the same until you smarten up. 
Oh, so it's a song line by line. Both something probably way too um, happy and something very pessimistic. Looks like this is for the booking schedule for City Recording Studio. Most notable is that neither of the founders seem to have occupied in the studio at the same time, except for a very brief two-minute interval once a week or so. According to the famous rock band logic, this would have made for ideal working conditions. Ted, Ted, great news. There's some focus testing for the song, and guess what? It's a hit. The audience really had an ear for it. Ha, ah, get it? Because of the corn. Stop playing around with the corn and get back into the studio. We have no time to waste, twit. All right. <clears throat> In blue pen, I live a life of a lonely man who's plagued by a brilliant mind. An imbecile for a right hand and a prison I'm inside. Next lines are in red pen. I need a girl who can understand the burdens of this life, whose name will go after an ampersand in who I in whom I can confide. So yeah, that's glitter and rhinestones. The packaging proclaims that these rhinestones and glitter can bedazzle even the most dazzling of items. You spend the next hour afterward watering, wondering what was in, what, if that was a paradox. Then the next three figuring out what a paradox is. Bob, you're musically a illiterate halfwit. You can't change the key 16 times in one song. I nearly passed out because of all the shifts. Okay. Again with garbage? These are all useless things you take, idiot. Having no interest in the guitars at the recording studio, you decide to take what you thought was a less complicated instrument and began banging it against the wall. You mistook this for a peculiar animal and waited several hours for it to say something to you. When it didn't, you decided to take it and now carry it over your head, like a battle standard. My god, this, the artwork for this guy gets more complicated by the second. I knew you stole my fingerprint, you glory-hogging buffoon! Cordially, Ted. Uh. Okay. Bob, despite your best efforts, I actually think this song is acceptable. Though I despise your presence with every fiber of my being, get down here so we can press a copy of the song, moron. <laughs> and you'd better deliver on those distribution plans, dummy. Hey, Ted, whoops, looks like our cost overruns ate into our distribution budget. As in, it's gone. Sorry. Probably shouldn't have made that power ballad cover. That sure got expensive. Live and learn. What? Power ballad, eh? Okay, let's see. Drum. You did not think this was an instrument. Instead, you thought this was something you stood on in order to be taller for a little while. You stood on it for six hours, regretting nothing. Okay, I have a lot of stuff now. None of this stuff. I think I have an immediate use for. Okay. Let's get out of here and see what else we can figure out. Okay. So that's the bio lab. A very serious letter informing the heads of the facility that they will be the subject of a very thorough audit uh, by the government in the near future. Judging by the amount of notes written across the page, Ted did not take the news too well. Bob, in the rare occurrence that you're actually done erecting statues to yourself, I would just like to inform you that we are being audited. As in, how are we going to explain where all this money went? And why is there a talking corn all over this stupid facility? I knew I shouldn't have indulged you, you half-witted stupid narcissistic buffoonish idiotic moron. You drove me to erect that stupid statue of myself. It was made of rare earth metals. It cost millions. Hi, hey, Ted. Well, we're in a pickle, aren't we? Not to worry, I got a couple more ideas on my sleeve. We'll be making all this money back in a jiffy. For God's sake, Bob, no tours, no resorts, no casinos, idiots. Ah! Is there anything here we can use? There's so much clutter. 
Okay, okay. No idea what this will do. Then bring it the fuck over here. Still need to get in there. What use does it have to me? None at the moment. Fuck! Okay, that took me way longer than I it needed to. Fucking hell. Even Bob's fingerprint looks like it wants to sell you something cheaply, made for a large profit. Used to bypass the extremely secure system the founders set up to make sure they were both present to press a new version of their single, a system which Bob got around easily. Never mind that. Have you ever wondered why we're here? I always thought we came to be thanks to a conglomeration of circumstances too large for us to comprehend. Or maybe because it's sunny outside. Yes, of course. But why aren't we over there? I don't know. Sort of the same Should joke Red vs. Blue did. Why do you take so much garbage? There is no more garbage left for anyone else. This may be a fancy hat, but it isn't the fanciest hat in the land. That title belongs to a top-notch brown bowler owned by an office clerk in Brighton. Ted has completely blocked this unfathomably sized Fabergé egg out of his perception so that he doesn't have to think on an even more unfathomable cost. Unfathomable cost. But I was really disappointed when this one didn't have any chocolate inside. Okay. A coin slot. But where in God's name is everyone? What happened to all our staff? Hey Ted, think I left a note on you about that. I had to let them go cover the recording costs. Also, FYI, we have no money left. Whoops. In retrospect, that priceless, gigantic Fabergé egg didn't need any more dazzle, but there's nothing you can do about it now. That is permanent. I see. So what is this room? The amount of zeros on this invoice is hard to fathom for all but the least budget conscious minds. The order from form is faded, so you can only see the fragments of words on the item list. Whatever the purchase was for it for, it apparently needed a lot of fats for fuel. Okay. Sentient. Is this the place where they make, create sentient corn? Interesting. This is actually the, uh, the heart of the facility then. Uh, let's see. Go ahead.
Great security measures. What? Is this supposed to have been opened? Because I'm not seeing what it did. Look at this stupid place. How <laughs> much garbage is in here? <clears throat> a diagram torn in half contains a drawing of a scarecrow with complicated scientific equations underneath. An orange pen <clears throat> and a sketch of that strange spy in the grain silo, which is circled. Writing is also visible in orange. They will help you. It looks important. You try to eat it, but change your mind when you couldn't find any pepper. Okay, so I found the key fob. Apparently, apparently, I didn't have to uh, go here, and it was this piston that was lowering. Okay, let's go here. Inactive key fob. Need to put it in like the. key so that's her blood she opens the door with her blood cool metal awesome okay coffee because the company's awful production procedures every batch of Renka beans has a different taste in this jar's case it tastes like the back of an old chair Written entirely in orange pen. Most of it is faded, but there are some words you can read. Some of them of the phrases include idi idiotic facility, credit stealing imbeciles, doing everything completely wrong, lower the corn's intelligence, do it myself with the genetic code, and <laughs> ruby corn. Anything of note? Great computer. This is a draft of a letter sent to the US government requesting for a full audit of the research facility. If you understood the concept, you'd be able to discern what it was clear forgery with the founder's signatures practiced several times underneath. <laughs> and including phrases like needs to sound stupider in orange pen. It's presumed that the finished copy was successfully sent to the government, triggering the audit. Okay, she was willingly boycotting okay put more coffee in this works all right we're gonna see what's behind this door in the next episode so, if you like this episode, click the like button and subscribe to Game Overwatch for more gaming goodness. And remember, guys, stay watch. Break it down.